Their 12-hour shift was almost over when deputies Robert Ricks and Marco Ruiz heard the noise. Oh. It sounded like a car accident, but at 4.30 in the morning, neither deputy saw a crash. Based on the noise, you could tell it was more than just your, your average crash. It was something probably pretty severe. I jump in my patrol car and I turn my lights on and I start just driving slowly. And as we're driving, I see the, like the guardrail missing. A car had veered off the road along Alafaya Trail in southeast Orange County. Through the darkness, the deputies could see taillights and smoke. It's right there. Look, look, behind you, behind you, behind you. And that's when we took off uh, through the swamp. <laughs> the car had flipped on its side coming to a stop in a bed of tall grass and mud more than 20 feet from the roadway. We're trying to see who was in the car. Can you hear me? And we're trying to wake the person up. We're banging, trying to break a window. The man inside the car wasn't responding. As the deputies peeked in the windows, they noticed a car seat. Which is a um, big uh, uh, red flag for us. Just trying to make sure there wasn't a small child there or the child was pinned under him. The driver eventually regained consciousness and was able to tell the deputies he was alone in the car. But now there was another problem. The smoke had grown thicker and the vehicle was on fire. And that's when Marco and I knew we'd have to act a little bit quicker. Marco, start dragging them out, dude. Come on, you got the car's on fire, bro. Deputy Ricks attempted to put the fire out. Meanwhile, Deputy Ruiz was trying to pull the man out of the car, but he was stuck. He's like, I'm hurting. I'm like, you got to move, man. You're going you gonna to burn. Hey, up, Dude, bro. your car's on fire. You got to get out of here. By now, both deputies were pulling on the man while also keeping an eye on the fire. Uh, there's, there's no way I'm going to watch somebody get burned alive in front of me. That's just not an option. We're trying to get him out. We need help. Try to open the door. Right there. Open the door. Open the door. Right I've there. already wasted a whole extinguisher. It didn't do nothing. Try to open it. Orange County Fire Rescue arrived on the scene, and together, the deputies and firefighters pulled the man out and dragged him away from the car. I think we all saved his life. Um, I do remember passing the light outside of where I live in Innovation, um, and then from there, Pretty much everything is just non-existent. A married father of two, Christopher Tosas was on his way to work when he got into the accident. After he was pulled from the car, Christopher was taken to the hospital. He had a concussion and a few minor scrapes. But I knew that I was alive. I knew that I was able to move. And even though I was in pain, I could feel things. And I knew that I was, I was awake. Christopher has no idea what caused the crash. And according to the Florida Highway Patrol, neither drugs nor alcohol were a factor in the accident. I'm blessed to be here, lucky to be alive, and lucky to be able to live my life and get to see my kids. Just how lucky? For starters, Deputy Ricks and Deputy Ruiz typically aren't out on patrol at that time in the morning. It was towards the end of our shift. Usually we're turning in papers. So had those deputies not been on patrol, had they not been in the area, not heard the crash, and not located the car quickly, this story could have had a much, much different ending. Those are my angels. Those were people that were able to respond quickly. My wife still has a husband that she gets to talk to every day, and it's because them and the way that they reacted. I, I appreciate it so much. I, I think God put us in the right place at the right time. And uh, it, it all worked out for the best.